Okay then guys, uh, so when we get to uh, the knowledge harvest part of our um, hyperdoc, this is really important. This is to get all the ideas that you already have, all the knowledge you've already got in your head. So what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and think about what we already know about our new topic. We're gonna focus to begin with on marine habitats, so our seas and oceans. So we're gonna use a Padlet, which you will use before, to share what we already know. Now, if you're a little bit worried, thinking, oh, no, I'm not quite sure what I what I know and what I don't know, you've got some videos to give you some ideas. So these videos uh, you can watch, and remember, you can pop them out and go full screen if you want to. Um, you can watch those. Uh, first one's quite short, only a couple of minutes. Second one's a little bit longer. It's, um, it's about, I can't remember how long it is. It's uh, about eight or nine minutes, I think. So you can watch those if you want to, but if you've already got some ideas, um, if you head on to the next um the next slide uh, just in this gap here there will be a link to this video i've obviously not put it there because i'm making the video now um so on this page you have got it says click on the picture below to go to our knowledge harvest padlet make sure you share as many ideas as you can remember spelling and punctuation is important so please uh, let's make sure that we're spelling things as well as we can so um if you click on the big picture down the bottom here it will take you to our Padlet, and this is what the Padlet looks like, okay? So the Padlet looks like this. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different questions that I want to get your ideas from. First one is, what can we find under the sea? Really general question, you know, anything that you can think of. Um, second one, quite an interesting one. How are some animals suited to living underwater? What makes them be able to survive underwater? Third one, apart from fish, what other creatures can live in our seas and oceans? Fourth one, quite a difficult one, this one. What type of plants live in the sea? Fifth one, uh, where does the water in our seas, lakes, and rivers come from? And then the sixth one, what else do you know about seas and oceans? So how do you add your knowledge to this? So um, if I wanted to add something to this, let's say I've got a fact about seas and oceans that doesn't really fit in any of these that I want to add. I'm gonna click on this add button down at the bottom. It turns into a pencil and it gives me a box it's hiding underneath my head there so let me just make this box uh can i move it i wonder let's see no it's not gonna oh yeah there it is let's me move it okay let me put myself back down there so um what i'm gonna do is i've got a fact about oceans um uh oceans uh oceans facts Okay, so I know some facts about oceans. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, I think it's 70%, might be wrong, of the Earth's uh, surface is covered by seas and oceans. Um, and uh, there are four main oceans, uh, the Atlantic, Pacific, uh, Arctic, and Indian Oceans. Okay, so then I've got that. And remember, you all know how to use Padlet as well. So let's say um, I wanted to add uh, oceans for kids. Let's say I wanted to add a video about oceans. Let's find a video. Um, so let's have a little look. So I've got a video about the Pacific Ocean here. Let's check that it's it's good, it's interesting, maybe it's good. Oh, this one's got five oceans, maybe I was wrong. You'll have to see if you can find out. Um, so all I need to do is take the uh, link up there. Uh, so I'm gonna copy that. Uh, so copy, go back to my Padlet, and remember in here, when I'm editing it, I can upload things, I can link things, I can Google something, I can take a photo of something, and I can do all of this. So if you wanted to, you could upload, link, Google search, take a photo from your webcam. Don't think you probably need to do that. You could film something from your camera. You could re record a voice audio. You could record your screen if you wanted to show something. You could draw something on an on-screen canvas. You could add a map or a location and you could link to another Padlet. I don't think we'll need to do that. I'm gonna use the link one and I'm gonna paste that link in there and save it and it adds that onto uh, my post. Now, what am I gonna do then? I'm gonna move it under here because this one goes uh, with this 
uh, fact. Now, one other thing that I can do, I'm going to try and keep this reasonably tidy. Let's try and keep this nice and tidy. Is over here, I can connect it to a post. So I'm going to connect it to there because it belongs with that question. So I'm going to then tidy it up and keep it underneath. Now we'll see how this goes. Hopefully we'll be able to keep this nice and tidy. Let's try not to have lines going all the way over and across like this because it'll get really, really confusing, won't it? Um, also, make sure you don't delete anyone else's work. Let's leave these lines nice and tidy. And then hopefully we'll have a big long Padlet that we can scroll down and through, and we can perhaps embed it in our Google um, uh, Doc later on. Okay, then, guys, that's how we use this. I'm just going to show you about one more time. So hit the add button and you get yourself a new box. Sometimes it puts it in a kind of a dumb place. Um, if you want it to make um, to make sure it matches up in color, so let's say I want to put something under this, how are animals suited to living underwater? I can click on here. Um, let's say I want to put gills. So I put the title as gills. Gills allow fish to breathe under water because they take oxygen out of the water. Okay, cool, and I can add a diagram or something like that. Now, uh, once I click off that, I do get a couple of options here. I can delete it if I've made a mistake. I can edit it if I want to. The three dots are what I'm interested in. I'm gonna choose the color to match it up to that uh, color, so they're both blue, and then I'm gonna connect it to a post connect it to that one, and there you can see they're linked up. And I'm gonna try and keep it lined up like that. And hopefully we'll end up with a big long list. If someone beats you to it onto the Padlet, just go onto the bottom of the Padlet, scroll down. Okay then guys, good luck with that. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you get.